I'm in the new house. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, YouTube. This is my channel. My name is Jack Hill. And today I'm going to be doing a vlog on Christmas in prison. <laughs> I still keep pronouncing it wrongly, but who cares? Um, okay, so uh, I'll just give you a quick update. I've moved to the Burnley area from the kind of Wigan area, which I was in before. Hence there being a slight delay on my new vlogs. But hopefully this week, I've got this week off, I'm going to crank out some videos for you guys. So this is the first of them. Christmas in prison. So, um, uh, the day's introduction, I do have my diary. The day's introduction for Christmas. Christmas Day 2011 was introduced by, let me just read you a, a, um, an entry that I did. It was actually on the 26th, so on Boxing Day, Monday 26th. Had a lovely visit, Xmas Eve with Mum, uh, Bob and Joe. A fairly uneventful Christmas, although someone had a fight in the morning, to which someone shouted, Jesus, it's bloody Xmas Day, lads! In a really thick northern accent, which made me giggle. <laughs> I remember that. Um, had an awesome visit with Nick, Sam and Jay today. We talked about sustainability technology, foraging, fishing and holiday plans. Jay was dying for a McDonald's. Mm. Um, I mused on him being fat when I get out. My best friends. <laughs> That's how I ended it with a smiley face. So, yeah, the introduction to the day was me getting up in the morning. Early in the morning again. Uh, no one was working on that day, as far as I remember. Um, so we all just stayed in our pads. Um, and like out for social. I think it was extended social time. I think that's what it was. So yeah, um, got out in the morning going for breakfast and f within two minutes um, I was in the queue for my breakfast. Uh, you, you take, you either, on, on weekends it's like a few different things that you can get. So you have to pick up a tray. Oh god, I'm struggling to remember this now. It's been a while. I think you had a tray that you pick up. Oh, you get a tray when you're there and you just say yes, yeah, sausages, this, 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 whatever. Otherwise, you take your bowl and like your knife and fork and stuff, you know, little bits and bats. So I was just in the uh, queue waiting uh, to get to the servery, and two guys started kicking off right up on the landing next to us, um, and someone showed, fucking hell, it's Christmas Day, lads. I can't even remember what accent it was. It was just a really thick, broad, northern accent, <laughs> which really entertained me. So that was a nice intro to the day. Um, and the structure of the day was basically... Um, you're let out for, t for social times and for when you're having your breakfast. Uh, any times around when you're eating is kind of social time. So breakfast time, there might have been a slight extension on it. Um, and uh, I think we were given like little bits of extra food during the day. I think in the morning, um, I still just had cereal with some toast. And then in... Oh no, because it was a Sunday, so we would have had like some kind of um, sausages and bacon and that kind of thing, and beans and stuff, I think, uh, for breakfast. And then a couple hours of uh, being able to walk around the wing and chat to people if you want to, play pool, uh, you know, um, uh, what's it called? Ping pong, ping pong tennis. And uh, then put back in your cell, watch loads of TV, or in my case, I did lots of reading and writing whilst the TV was just on. And then um, I seem to remember that uh, for tea time, um, you order like a week in advance on this like list, a kind of uh, list of different foods that you can have. So Monday it'll say, you know, curry, uh, roast, and you know, chick some other kind of meal, chicken teriyaki or something. And you, you just tick the box for the next week and then go and hand it in. And then the following week you'll get whatever meal you ticked. So I had been so... I don't want to say out of it, that's not the right phrase, but I was so uninterested in time in that sense of like, oh, Christmas. Because Christmas is basically like any other day in prison. So the idea that um, on the outside everyone's like really looking forward to it and doing lots of stuff and wrapping presents and going to see family and things like that, it's just not apparent inside. So it just feels like any other day. And for some reason, in the week leading up to it, I think I had other things on my mind. A couple of weeks before, I'd been in a small fight as well. So I was thinking about that a little bit. Um, and um, I'd just not realised, so I'd ordered a curry for my Christmas dinner. So um, 2011 Christmas dinner for me was a curry. And I remember getting to the server and then going, curry? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 
and they were just like why have you got a curry when you could have had a Christmas dinner and blah I mean it, it did look like a crap Christmas dinner but it, it might have been slightly nicer than a curry in any case I was like I don't care I'll just eat anything and um, we got uh, we got given uh, like a bonus pack of um, sweets and biscuits and uh, I think a muffin and a few like you know bits of fruit things like that it seems like absolutely nothing but uh, for when you're inside it's actually quite nice it was just like oh, a little bonus day little some snacks and stuff here a couple extra biscuits and things it was quite nice um, and I got a lot of uh, letters around that time as well so I was just reading and replying to lots of people and as I said in my diary I had a visit on I think I had a visit Christmas Eve and then Boxing Day as well um, so I saw family and stuff like that the fact that my friends and family came to see me made the Christmas a lot better than it would have been if I was just by myself I imagine for a lot of prisoners I mean for a lot of people in general Christmas is a time to reflect and, and introspect on what you've done in that year what you've done what you, where you're up to in your own life that kind of reflection in general and um, I think that a lot of prisoners can uh, can get a little bit depressed by reflecting in that sense and thinking what have I done in my life and where am I up to right now and, and then suddenly thinking oh god I'm in prison you know I've, I've wasted my life what have I done and blah blah all that kind of stuff it can take a negative downward uh, turn but I didn't see it like that I saw it like potentially I was going to be in for two Christmases with maybe not being in for two Christmases depending on where my tag uh, ended up going and um, my HDC home detention curfew when you get a little bracelet on your ankle electronic tag um, when they let you out a little bit early and uh, you have to apply for that and stuff. So it wasn't certain at this stage in my sentence. So I thought, oh, I might be in two Christmases or one if I'm lucky. Um, but either way, this is one out of the way. This is one down. Um, so it was just a benchmark for me. It was just a milestone in my time inside. And I was really looking forward to it being done. Um, I was like, okay, get Christmas out of the way and then I can focus on other stuff and then it's the new year and I can focus on this so I just broke it, broke apart my sort of time targets in like you know three month periods or little you know little milestones like Christmas and New Year and once I've got them out of the way I can say right it's you know it's 2012 and uh, I can crack on with this year and I'm, I, I remember taking a lot of um, comfort from just saying oh 2012 I might be let out this year this is the year that I might be released from prison it's not like I've been in for years and years and years. It was just nice to say something as simple as that. Like, oh, I might be coming out later this year. Um, so, yeah, my personal thoughts were slightly more positive than the average. I mean, the mood on the wing in general was quite low. Uh, some people would be quite chirpy and quite merry. Um, I went and talked to a guy called uh, John for a long time, a Scottish guy. He was really nice. I was quite good friends with. Um, he was a squaddy. Um and uh, we just talked about a lot of the nonsense about escapades he had when he was in the army and his brother and all sorts of stuff. Had a long chat for about two or three hours whilst having a, a few brews. Uh, and that passed some time nicely. That was, that was a good little bit of the day. Um, but other than that, Christmas, it, it was a strange time. It, it, I want to say bittersweet, but um, the sweet parts were really outweighed and overshone by the bitter parts see my family and friends awesome that was really really nice and it, i think it reminds you of who you are or who you were outside and helps you to retain that part of yourself the, the part that you want to survive prison um and I, th I think that's key to anyone who's going to prison is to try and stay in touch with your family and friends as much as possible um as soon as you go as soon as you cut them off and say no i'll do my time inside and then when i get out i can go back to my life it's not a very sensible method for surviving prison, I don't think, because it doesn't um, it doesn't help to maintain those relationships if you just cut them off completely and not let them help you a little bit, not let them in, you know. Um, so I tried. I was just open and honest with it, or everyone and all my friends and family, and they supported me so much. I don't know if I would have got it through prison and got through prison without them. I, I probably would have done, but I would have been a different person. Um, and I'm so glad that I managed to get out with uh, my sanity. Some would say that I didn't, but um, I feel as though I got out with my sanity and uh, my personality intact. Um, I hadn't partitioned anything away too much. So yeah, uh, that was a vlog on uh, Christmas in prison. Um, 
it was a really uneventful day. Nothing, nothing really happened. We just watched lots of Christmas TV, and um, I chatted with a few people on the wing. Uh, it's a depressing. It's it's a depressing day, but I was trying my best to focus on all the positives. Uh, and just ignore ignore any negatives ignore the obvious negatives of oh god this is the worst Christmas I've ever had in my life um, you know I'm inside prison now for a mistake that I did a ridiculous awful mistake that I did and um, my current situation is because of that and you can sort of wallow in self-pity like that for as long as you like but ultimately it doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help you, it doesn't help even the victims of your crime because it probably makes it more likely that you'll re-offend or that you'll be a burden on the state or anything like that, you know. It doesn't really help anyone just wallowing in self-pity. So I tried to take a positive look on the world and think, well, how can I change myself? How can I change this situation? What can I look forward to and what can I change? Um, and that's what I did. And look where I am now, I'm really happy. Um, I'm going to do another vlog on uh, my current situation and another life after prison and uh, let you all know what's going on right now in my life. Uh, but for now, Merry Christmas to you all and Happy Holidays as well. Um, and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic uh, winter and January and New Year and everything. And uh, don't go too crazy. And say, uh, keep your family close and your friends, friends close. And for anyone who's got um, family or friends inside, uh, try and send them a letter uh, and if you can get a letter to land on Christmas Day, that's a really nice thing. Or even the day before. Um, or do it between a couple of you. Send, like, you know, in tandem. Have one person send on one day, the next day, and the next day. So you've kind of covered a few days. And then if you get a couple letters over Christmas, honestly, it was one of the best things. It's one of the most uplifting things that you can have happen whilst you're inside. And on a day like that, it's really, really useful. So, that's it. Merry Christmas, everyone. I love you all, and I'll be uploading more soon. But until next time, I shall catch you all on the flip side and love you all. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye.